Hello everyone, welcome back to another Doctor Who figure review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Companions of the Fourth Doctor collector figure set. In the UK, these are being sold in B&M and I believe that you can also get these in America and Australia. I'm not sure where you can get them in uh, Australia, but if anyone can put a link or something in the comments so if anyone in Australia wants to get them that would be great um, and I also believe that these are being put on Amazon in America so it's great how they're making these more readily available so taking a look at the packaging we have a window display of the three figures Sarah Jane Romana 1 and Romana 2 we have the Doctor Who logo and the TARDIS there, like last year's sets. Companions of the Fourth Doctor collector figure set. We have Character Options logo, ages 5 plus, 5.5 inch, 14 centimeter scale collector series. Turning back of the box, we get a side view, and it says that includes Sarah Jane Smith, Romana 1, and Romana 2. At the back, we have promotional images of the figures, Doctor Who logo, that same TARDIS image again the title of the set and the same old stuff with copyright information at the side then we have a sh shot of the TARDIS again and at the top we get overview figures and more or less the same information we've already seen before so that's it for the box let's take a look at the figures themselves the figures are now out of their box, and I've got to say, for figures that use odd moulds, I'm really impressed. All the figures look excellent, and you can hardly tell what their base models are supposed to be, just because they look that good. They look like entirely new figures, which is excellent. It's great how B&M are investing more into these sets. And the quality just seems a whole lot better in the past few years. And it, it's great to see. And I hope we see more of that in the future. First, taking a look at the classic Sarah Jane, the first ever classic Sarah Jane variant. We've had Sarah Jane figures before from the Sarah Jane Adventures and School Reunion, but we've never had a classic one. And... I'm really happy that I can put it next to the Harry Sullivan figure, which was released last year in the Sontaran set. Fortunately, I don't have a season 12 fourth Doctor, so it won't look as good, but I am very happy that I've got two of my favourite companions in figure form. And I'm glad that the figure looks excellent. Comparing the head sculpts of the Sarah Jane Adventures one and classic one you can notice the difference and yeah i'm just blown away at how good this is in promotional images i didn't think it looked that great but i'm really surprised it does look really good um yeah close up for you but yeah i just think it looks great the hair as well they've done an excellent job at it this uses the martha body from the last of the time lords and you, you can just you can't really tell because it just they look completely different and they really are just excellent i yeah i didn't expect that i'd like this figure so much the camouflage is really good there's not a single bit of paint bleed on there which i'm quite surprised about because normally stuff like that it you know, you'd probably expect a bit of a splodge, but nah, th this actually looks fine, which I'm really surprised about. They've done an excellent job. Only thing I would say is that they could have maybe painted the buttons a different colour, but yeah, I, I do think other than that, like it's just a small nitpick, it really is a good figure. Articulation, the head probably can do a 360, but for some reason on mine, when you turn it slightly, the neck peg kind of lifts up a bit, and I don't really want to break it. 
articulation at the shoulder, bend at elbow, 360 at the biceps, 360 at the wrists, and the legs can kick out and bend, but it can't go back. It can also do the splits. So, yeah, pretty good articulation. Exact same as Martha figure. Shoes can also do a 360. So, yeah, um, overall, I think this figure is excellent. And I'm completely blown away by it. It is fantastic. Moving on to Romana 1. It, again, looks excellent. Uh, a few months ago, I saw a leaked image of the head sculpt. And I thought it looked amazing. And I was really looking forward to having it. And seeing it in hand now, it is just as good. I genuinely can't believe what they've done with this year's sets. Same with the friends and foe of the 13th Doctor set. It just the head sculpts. They're just amazing. This uses a Claudia Brown figure base, which was also used on the Yasmin Khan figure, also released in this year's B&M Rave. But personally, I think the base works more on Yaz, and it looks a bit odd on Romana one, but eh, yeah, it's okay. Just could have been better. I'm not sure really what else they could have used to make a different variant. I believe this is from the Pirate Planet. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. It does look good. On camera, it does look really kind of bright pink, but it's kind of a slightly darker than that, but it's still quite light. Um, yeah, the head sculpt, fantastic. It really does look like Mary Tam, but th the neck is quite long, which a bit strange, but... Yeah, same with Sarah, when you turn it slightly on mine, the neck peg kind of lifts up. So, yeah, um, probably can do the 360, but again, I don't want to risk it or scratch off any paint. The Coles Hind, they've done a great job, and I really like how they've mixed different shades of brown on as well. It It is amazing. I'm not sure how well it picks up on camera, but... It does look fantastic. The body, well, it's kind of just alright with this paint thing. It's kind of odd how, like, they've added this tiny bit of pink on here. It just clearly looks a bit meh. You can really tell. But it's just something I find a bit odd. But overall, it is pretty nice, but... Yeah, I do feel they could have maybe picked a better variant. Articulation, pretty much the same as Yaz and Claudia. Arm um, can do 360. Bend at the elbow. 360 at the bicep. 360 at the wrists. Les can kick out and bend. And it can also do swivel. Um, yeah, eh. A bit disappointed by this, but the head sculpt is excellent. Um, I do hope we maybe see a, another variation of Romano One at some point in the future, not too soon, just because I feel having one this year, then another the next year might be a bit meh, but for, for now it will do. But yeah, probably my least favorite in this set. Moving on to Romana 2 now, I've got to say, she's just as good as the Sarah figure. She's just amazing. The head sculpt is fantastic, and what they've done for the body um, is just, yeah. When I first saw it, I was wondering what they used as the base figure, because it didn't look like a primeval figure, and they've been using quite a few old Doctor Who figures and primeval bodies, but they actually used this Sarah Jane figure from the 
Revenge of the Slovene, but I think this one was the one that came with Kudlak. Um, and it didn't even really occur to me that they could use the Sarah Jane Adventures figures to have as a base of these B&M figures. So, yeah, I wonder if that will be a thing we'll see in the future. And, hey, I don't know if we're, we might even see tortured figures get, like, in, like, with the bases and stuff. But, mm, something about that is kind of doubtful to me, because I think another company made those figures. But, oh well, who knows? <clears throat> yeah, so... The head sculpt is amazing. It really looks like Lord of Ward. It, it's really good. The smile as well. The hair. It's got nice kind of blonde wash. Some roots as well, which is done really well. It's just great. Scarf, I think they used a fourth Doctor one. I'm not sure because it looks thinner. Then the fourth Doctor scarfs. It's apparently removable, but I'm I'm not convinced. I imagine it might be, but yeah, it it's got some buttons as well and pockets which are done really well. Back of the coat, it's got some stuff sculpted as well. Wrists, the jacket. It's really good. Also, if you open up the coat a bit, you can see that it's still got pink on the shirt. And, yeah, they've just done an excellent job. Like, in things you won't even really see. It's just great. Added a kind of glossy purple paint on the boots. It looks kind of more brown on camera, but it looks like a purpley brown to me. But... Yeah, this is the variant that I think everyone was hoping for. They do, if they ever did a Romana 2 figure from Destiny Daleks. So, yeah, I'm very happy that character options have decided to go with this variant. They've clearly been listening to what the fans want, especially with all the stuff coming in these raves with Benton, Yates, Second Doctor's TARDIS, it... This rave's probably my favourite they've done in a long time. Articulation, head. I'm not sure if it will do the 360 degrees because it feels slightly hindered by the hair. I imagine you probably can if you force it, but it might do something hair. Not sure. Arms, 360. Bend at the elbow, 360 out of bicep. Wrists, 360 as well. Legs can kick out and bend and can also move out slightly, but it is hindered by the jacket. So, yeah, articulation pretty standard. But, yeah, this figure, it, it's really good. I'm really surprised with this set, especially with Sarah Jane. She is really good. I actually can't believe it. This year, from the sets I have, it seems they've gone all out. And I really can't wait to try and track down these other sets because they look really good. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you can all find these sets. Uh, if anyone can't, don't give in to the ridiculous prices going on eBay. They'll probably be around similar retail price in a couple of weeks, but yeah. Or they might just be a bit delayed coming into your store, so you never know. I'm surprised my store actually had some in because it normally takes them a little while, but yeah. So I hope you can all find these. I hope you'll stay safe when you do bring a mask, don't be an idiot. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.